Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared. And in this video, it's going to be a very short one. I'm going to show you how we did the, the JD tube short tube part that we do a lot. I created it in SolidWorks here, right here. And what I did is I went and after I created my artwork or my design, I saved it as a JD tube tube, but we're going to save it as a step file and we'll replace it and once again this is all about just showing you how easy it is to go from part to cut so over here I go back to Camelot our software and I import the JD tube step file and I get this right here I said detect features make job for tool tube sure because I want to go cut it it's right now calculating all the past normalization I want to show you what that is real quick um, right here if you zoom in you could see what it did remember the torch is perpendicular to your tubing so it had to alter the torch path so it basically on this side the cut path is lined up with the ID and of course on the um, on the other side over here this here it wouldn't be it would be you know lined up on the on the same side anyway um, this was the actual part so now I'm ready to go out there and cut it I literally just created operation I ran my post I saved it as JD to tube said yeah I want to replace it there's my G code over here and at this point I could now just take that that part go out there and cut it that's what I did if I wanted to go a little further and I wanted to see um, you know the actual animation of the part I can um, I could do that right here um, in the software also anyway that was just to show you how simple it is to go from a 3d design software what does it take to actually get it into Camelot thank you for watching and you have a good day